What's up, YouTube? Michelin SE here, and today we're going to be doing the super budget build Amazon. We've done this for the Trapson already. This is going to be the Javazon version. Um, so essentially, this goes back to the idea that many of you guys thought, well, these builds you're showing are cool, Mr. Llama, but they cost 25 high runes. And they did, and that was a fair assessment. So instead, we're breaking it all down and saying, how can you, yes you, be effective with just a single Ist rune for all of your gear? Um, the way that this is going to work is I'm going to get an Ist rune. I'll break it down into its value of runes lower, because obviously I don't just want to, like, I could spend the time trading the Ist rune for the Malum pole and then trading the pole for a few lems and, you know, all this stuff. But um, I'm just going to kind of break it down and give, like, the approximate value of everything so that it still adds up to an Ist rune in total. We'll then go and trade all of these things around for the items. Um, and, of course, I will be discussing the alternatives and just kind of the the stuff that I am going to be building for the character and stuff that I'm going to be looking at um, as we kind of make our decisions. So with that being said, let's jump into it right here. So first things first, let's grab this text. And do this. Perfect. Total budget right there. And Merce gear as well. So our total budget is one Ist rune. This is not a uh, Java. Java's on. So let's go ahead and start discussing some of the things that we'll want to use for this character, some of the budget items. Now, with the Javazon, one of the most important things, of, of course, is we don't need any attack rating or anything like that. All of our gear is going to just hit, okay? It's just always going to hit. We also want to make sure we have cannot be frozen in some sort of source. So I think our obvious pieces right here are getting plus to skills because plus skills is going to increase our damage so something like a spirit shield very easy very solid uh one right there on our swap i'm just going to have a lower resist charges wand once again very simple but can be helpful for dealing with some of the baddies uh, and then for one ring i do want a raven frost so we want that because we want to have that canopy frozen. We could also run like Trang Belt or whatever, but I would much rather have in my belt slot Razor Tail as that gives us the 33% pierce so that we can get the 100% pierce um, with our pierce skill right there. Now, Storm Shield would also be an option for the shield. Um, however, I, I'd rather have the resistances, honestly. I don't like running for, like, max block that much on this character. Um, I'd rather just have my resistances and my plus to skills. Because, again, the more plus skills we get, the more that we murder. You can also have a rhyme shield as well, which is very, very cheap and gives you cannot be frozen. But, again, we have that Raven Frost, which is already going to be super nice for us. So, we should be totally okay. Our weapon is just going to be Titans. Um, they're really not that expensive overall. And just going to be pretty much best in slot right there. So that's actually very nice for us. I wouldn't have to deal with that too much. Uh, for helmets, this is where we get to that similar idea of do we want a Shaco? Do we want a, um, you know, Lore Helm? What do we want in that capacity? Hi, Lucky. Hi, everybody. Uh, you know, that's definitely a big um, question right there for what exactly we want in that slot. And the question, of course, is also, can we afford the Shaco? So let's put Shaco with a question mark right now because it's not crazy expensive. Um, but we can put it with a question we can also totally, yeah, a Valk wing is, is actually not the worst idea. Um, it actually is, is okay. 
And the stats, 1 to 2 Amazon skills, we'd obviously want the plus 2. 20 fast run lock, 20 hit recovery, and 2 to 4 mana per kill, which is very helpful for this character. Uh, and you would get the plus 2 skills there. I'm still still curious about the resistances a little bit, so we need to kind of definitely start thinking about that in some capacity. Um, for our body armor, I, I feel like I want to run Treachery, honestly. Just to get all that IAS could be nice. Um, and we get the Fade proc, which is really going to be helpful, right? Now, obviously, Viper Magi, Peace... Uh, yeah, sorry, dropped a couple frames there. Um, Peace is also a very good option, as Peace does give us the plus two to skills. Treachery gives us the IAS. It's it's a tough one. I, I'm actually leaning towards Peace, uh, now that I think about it more, which is just even cheaper. Uh, so that really is helpful right there. Um, for Boots, honestly... Pretty much anything fits in here. Water walks, Nat's boots. Smoke does have resistances, um, but yeah. Uh, you can also go Alder's boots for the for the big fire res and life. So I feel like Alder's is probably our best bet right there. For gloves, how much do three twenties cost? Mm, they might be out of our out of our range, unfortunately. So we might just be looking at laying of hands. Ohm. Yeah, it's pro that's probably too much. We could also try and get just some like 220s. That would be really, really cheap. Um, but I'm going to put laying of hands here. And I'm actually going to consider Nat's boots in the boot slot as well. Just because we can get the other resistances there as well. Um, for a ring, I would really love to get some sort of rare ring with resistances especially cold and light because uh, we have a lot of fire res um and so i i feel like getting that really soon would actually be super nice uh rare ring you could also of course just do dwarf star or whatever stuff right um but i think a rare ring would be very solid and we're, we're really looking for leech um Though, if I'm using ceremonial jabs, it's not as important. Uh, resistances, I think, are going to be my big thing. Because we do need some resistances there. Uh, for an amulet, probably just cat's eye. It's not that expensive, right? How much is a cat's eye? Let's try and see. Um, doesn't doesn't really look like uh, much of anything. High Lords is also decent, of course, but probably starting to get too expensive. I would imagine. Um, interesting one. Uh, so we'll probably just avoid that one. Charms, we do want to get a Zon Torch. We'll just get the cheapest one possible. And then some Resist Charms. Um, and then for the Mercenary... Probably just want to get, um, like, Gaze or Crown of Thieves. Weapon would be, like, Insight or Obedience. But just in a non-ethereal base. Because we can't afford an ethereal base one. And uh, armor. Treachery. But that might be, be too expensive. Um, treachery or... I mean, I like the Durial Shell, honestly. Depends how much we have left. We could also make them like a smoke or something if it's really... Really just going to be uh, whatever. You have a 1219 Zon Torch for Um. That's not bad. We might make that trade. Um, yeah, I mean, Zon Torches aren't worth a ton. Try and see where, where they're all at right here. 
that might be I might need to get a worse one that might be like too good of a deal for me get a 1219 you know like I want to make sure I'm I'm not getting too good of uh of a trade so that's that's just the important thing um Okay, let's go ahead and begin the trading. Llama1, one, password1. One. And once again, the whole point of this is I want every trade to be as fair as possible and or me slightly overpaying even. Uh, so let's break our, our runes down right here. Put our lums in here, sure. Uh, free Rao Rune. And let's just get rid of all this stuff on this character. Here's some free Chanseys, some free Nagels, Mavs, Mahim. Those are very nice boots. And uh, 119.14, sure. Oh, we have a Viper Magi and an Oculus. Uh, all right, free. Hold on. Okay, so we have one Istrune, which breaks down into Malum Pull. And then we can break, let's break the Mal Rune down into another Um Pull. Does that sound accurate? I actually have my price guide right here that shows it all. Yep. Another Um Pull. Then we can break our Pull Rune down into two Lems. And we can break our Lem Rune down into three fouls and one foul into what two co-runes three co-runes something like this all this for an ist seems about accurate okay so let's start looking once again at these things if you have some of this stuff uh please come and trade with me here's some 220s they don't have anything else on them, but they're not bad. I will I will consider those. The thing is, I do lose the resistances for gaining the skill. It is it is something for sure. Thirteen eleven. What would this be worth, chat? Pull or um? Pull 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 pull. All right. Paul Rune, it is. Chat has decided, and chat has no interest in giving me any discount there. Gosh dang. Paul is overpaying. It's fine. Uh, 168 fives, pretty garbage. Alders, insight, and uh, a 220, 10. I do want a different helm, I think. I'd rather have like a Valk. Um, no helm. Okay, so for Alders, Titans, and... It's a, not a good insight at all. Where are we at? Lemrune? Two fouls? The insight is pretty much free. Lem lem foul lem foul. We'll do we'll do the lem rune, which I think is is totally fair for this. Uh, do I have enough space? Yes. I am overburdened. Really? How are you overburdened on that? God, the sometimes. Oh, ignore all these things in, in here, by the way. Those are not for use for this character. Okay. So we've got that. Let's see. What other things? If you're adding potions, you should get way more back. Um, all right. Crown of Thieves. Co for Crown of Thieves. Yep. 
Does that seem about accurate? I think so. Perfect. Getting our mercenary geared up. Crown Thieves is free. I know, but we have to just give some stuff. Once you've made a trade, or those items that I need are gone, please move on. Cat's Eye, Raven, and Laying of Hands. How much do we owe for this? Wait, I want that. Who, who was that person? Who had all those things? Lang of Ants, Cat's Eye, and Raven. Lem or Fowl? How about Fowl plus another Fowl? Fowl, Fowl, Co. I, I believe that to be overpaid totally fine with it i'm okay with overpaying the only thing i'm not okay with is really underpaying because once again the whole point is we're trying to show that you you can you know get all this all right i'm trading an umrun in for a pole lem lem okay um, add the cost to your list for, I mean, well, the problem is some of them were combined. So I still need spirit shield, whatever helm I'm going to use, peace rune word, which I could honestly break down and just create myself. Uh, we have boots. I need razor tail, a rare ring with just like res or something. Not worth a lot. And, uh... The game is Llama 1, Password 1. Okay, Razor Tail. And... Left Ring. That's got resistances on it. Oh, but this one has mana steel. Um, all right. What's the cost for this? Korun chat? Yeah, I don't want the dual leech ring. That's going to be more expensive. It's not an um rune for a razor tail and a small little ring. I don't want the dual leech. I'm just I'm just getting the the random one on the left. Not the dual leech, you guys. All right, well, hold on. What's, what's, uh... Razor Tail is going for what? Let's just do Razor Tail and then this. You think a Lem for both of these? Chat wants a Lem for both of them. I think it's probably too much, but that's okay. All right. Spirit shield. Hey, a peace armor in a diamond mail. Ugh, gross. But we will need the strength anyways. Durial shell. And, oh man, I like this ring better. All right, because that's got bigger light res. 
I mean, this is 18, 11, 11. This is 25, 28. Peace is very little. Shall thall am. Duril shall spirit havoc. Um, let's just go. Let's go. Uh, no way and um for all of those. Well, maybe with that ring. All right, remove ring. How much for Duriel Shell, Peace, and Spirit? Paul, Fal, Lem, Paul. Paul seems really high, doesn't it? But chat really wants Paul for it. Jesus. All right, fine, we'll do a Paul. Good Lord, you guys. It seems like way overpay. Uh, free nages. All right. Paul is very high for that, but that's okay. Because once again, the whole point is that's okay. Um, what do we need left? I don't need the gaze anymore because we have we have what I need there. Um, so what I need now is let's actually get a a look. We have spirit, peace, laying of hands, titans, um, elders. We've got all these things. I need my helmet, and that's it. We still have a ton of currency left. So let's try for uh, a Shaco. Um, Lem for Shaco, or should we just grab that Valkwing? Yeah, I mean we just shop the wand. There you go. So. We could also just grab the Valk wing. For what? Lem? Is that what Valk is? All right. We've got a Valk wing. And that still leaves us with um and co rune. Did I put the um back when I made the change? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Pretty sure I did. Uh, let's start stacking some strength here. Start putting some things on. Uh huh. Valkyrie wing. And so many people at stash. Peace. We need some dexterity there. Put that on. Oh, dang it. The titans give 20 strength. All right. I went too high on the strength. That's okay. And there's for our mercenary. Uh, let's take a look at our resistances. Oof, our lightning res is very, very, very bad. I knew it would be. All right, let's go to a hell game and check it out. So one second. Llama 22, password 22. Yeah, charm time. Okay, fire res are doing okay. Lightning res and cold res are a little rough. Now, we haven't done on the Anya quest, so you have to remember that we're going to get 30 additional res uh, from that. So we're at 17 cold res here. Or wait. No. Wait. Minus three. Plus, yeah. Um, and we need, we need more of those. So if you have some charms, 
Llama could use some some random charms. I'm gonna actually break down this Umrun into pole, lem, lem, Llama just needs a plethora of charms with, yeah, like those sorts of things. Just like light res, cold res, maybe some fire res. I don't, I don't need like a single 11 percenter. I need a lot of just randoms. Yeah, just, just kind of put those up. I mean, what's this? Like a co rune? 2 GCs with 13 R res on both. Okay. Perfect. Uh, break the lem down into co. Wait, wait. Foul, foul, coco. Swap Alders for Natalia's, but then I lose the fire res, and then my fire res is in trouble. You know. And that's kind of the, you know, one of the things. If we had gone Treachery here, then we get the Fade, which really helps. Fire res, 8. Lightning res, 8. 11, 8. Cold. Perfect. Fire res, 3. All these things are, are amazing. What is what's the cost for these four, chat? What's your cost? Free? Foul? Ort? Wait, no, why'd you why'd you exit? Fine, we'll do we'll do foul on that. Those those are probably all too good. I mean, uh, I mean that's a poison and whatever, but those are too good. We're looking for more garbage. Twenty elevens are rich people things. We're we're doing budget, remember. Gosh dang. What was that? Okay, eleven, eight, eight. All right. Where are we at for this? Fal Falco. He would accept just a foul rune. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a co rune as well. Seems fine. Eight, nine, nine, nine. They're all cold res. Beautiful. This is lovely though. Nothing in here is worth a ton. Uh, we do have some all res, which are probably worth too much. But I would happily pay, like, my poll. I mean, I would give everything I have just for the rest of those, probably. <laughs> um, alright. Let's see. What do we want for all of these? None of them are actually good, but they're all okay. I think foul fits. Because there's no 11 percenters or anything. Alright, I'll throw a co as well for that. Yeah. These aren't worth a ton, but all together, they're very nice. That one's got the most value of anything. I think Falco is still a solid offer. Perfect! And you know what? I'm satisfied. 
I don't even feel the need to spend the rest. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna save it. Because we're into the positives and we haven't even used all of our Anya quest. So that's a big ol' win for us right there. That's a big ol' win. Very good budget build. So let's go ahead and talk about this character. Should get that treachery and an IS jewel. We totally can get the treachery for our mercenary. That would be an, a nice upgrade. We could get it for ourselves. We could get the IS jewel, shove it into the Valk wing. I mean, there's a lot of stuff, and we can talk all through those things because there is still some budget left. Uh, let's grab you. I don't have enough gold. You know, once again, when it's when you're just doing a budget character, yeah, filling up with res charms to start is great. Come back this way, have you? What? Didn't you see enough action here the first? All right, so let's talk about this character a little bit. We can take this off, and we can uh, give our mercenary stuff. I'll put that to good use. I'll put that to good use. I'll put that to good use. Okay. So, here we go. For our character, we've got ourselves Titans. And they're low, but it doesn't really matter. The physical damage isn't a big deal. The lifesteal, yeah, okay, whatever. If it's higher, that's nice. We could get a little bit better Titans here. We've got a Valkwing. Could have gone for the Shaco here. We did have the currency. It would have made us pretty much broke. But we did have that as a possibility. Cat's Eye right there. Spirit, Alders for the life, and this is low fire res, but that's okay. Um, so you could get like higher fire res Alders. We have a Raven Frost uh, for the cannot be frozen. Also, some of the decks uh, and stuff is nice because we do need it for Titans. Razor Tail, just a random ring with some resistances. I knew we would need res, so I just grabbed this one. Um, you can really just get a lot of stuff there. And then Laying of Hands. Uh, for the IES and fire res again, we could get some 220s and things like that as for the charms They're really all just a, a bunch of Life fire res charms. I just need those and then we got a 1311 Zon torch very very cheap uh, On my offhand. I just have a lower res wand which of course you can shop at Drognan act Two nightmare takes very very little time just need 60 70 thousand gold uh, And you should be good to buy that so very simple, very easy. You can see how fast she runs because she does have 40 here and 30% fast run walk there. Additionally, with the piece, we get nice plus skills overall. You can see, I mean, look at how many plus skills we have. My goodness. That's actually like so many plus to skills. Um, really, really big. So this gives us 75% chance for piercing. I know you can't see it, but it's level 12 pierce. Uh, and then on top of that with the razor tail, that puts us over 100%. So we only need the one point in any of that. If I wanted to go into Valkyrie, I totally could with my six points. I guess I'd be one short right now. But remember, this character has done zero, um, zero of her skill quest, zero of her resistance quest, her stat quest. All of those like bonus quests do not exist. So these are her resistances right now. Add 30 to all of them. You can see we're actually max capped on fire, close on cold, and at 33% on light. Getting a little bit better of a ring right here for light would actually be really helpful. You can see we don't really need the fire as much, so we can totally change this ring out for something that's like 25 light, 20 cold, or something like that, and that would be really solid and help out um, this character's resistances a bit. Additionally, we have a Lem pole left over from our Istrun right here. So there's so much stuff that we still could go get. I mean, here's our Mercenary gear, Durial Shell, Crown of Thieves, and Insight. You can see we could totally just make a treachery. We literally have the Lem rune. We could make a treachery for our Mercenary. We could buy a better Insight. This isn't a great Insight again. I just wanted to grab one to show you guys. Um, so we could upgrade our mercenaries gear. We could upgrade our own gear probably a tiny bit uh, as well There's plenty more charms we could go in and get to really just bring stuff into this character Obviously, we talked about the different options and stuff for the character um, But there really is just a lot of good stuff 
And now I can kind of go and show you, like, this character is still extremely strong at this budget level. This is one of the strongest characters in the game because she just murders everything so fast. It's ridiculous. Hold on, where's my charge strike? So even on the budgetiest budget gear, she will murder it all. And is just an absolute force to be reckoned with. Obviously, her biggest weakness is generally that she's a little bit weak in her life there. Um, yeah, getting one point into Valk would also be nice for this character, for sure. Just to have a little something to uh, help her out in that regard. But, hey, a co-rune. Look at that. Already making up our currency we lost. Oops. Budget has a torch. Yeah, that's the beautiful part about it. Um, a torch is so cheap now if you just buy a garbage one if you're looking for like a source torch or something it's like uh, you know you're paying like a goal to a vex minimum pretty much but if you go and look for a 10 10 or an 11 13 or 12 11 whatever zon amazon druid barbarian necro torch you will find one for a pole rune to an um rune guaranteed they are just super cheap and it's such a good investment. This is like the best piece of gear that you can get on any single one of the characters. I overpaid for this torch, but I'm okay with overpaying for this torch because once again, I'm just trying to show you guys that you can overpay for these things and still do okay. Uh, it's probably, yeah, it's probably Vex for even a 1010 source torch, honestly. Um, so these are such big power boost for such little investment. Every single one of these, you need to go. Yeah, guy in chat says he got an 18, 19 sin torch for an um. Uh, you've seen 20, 16 sin torches for pull. That's probably on the extreme. Like, they're probably worth a little bit more than that. But it doesn't even matter. People are, like, dropping those things so much. So I'm really trying to just get the lowest of lows. Because, again, plus attributes, plus resistances, and three to Amazon skills. And for these sorts of characters... Uh, that is just absolutely massive right there. Um, just such a help overall for the characters. Man, I really don't have a lot of, uh, my stuff. You got a 1311 druid for a lem rune. Exactly. It's just gonna be so, so cheap. And just so good. And like I say, the Amazon overall is just one of the strongest characters in the game. Um... She's a little glass cannon sometimes, but if you can get globs of mobs standing together, you just launch in and you have a 100% chance to pierce. Your charge strike does massive damage and you can run around and go through so many areas and honestly just kill, kill everything, you know? And at the same time, you have that lower res on your swap. So whenever you need it, you can swap lower resistance and that'll break a lot of immunities. That'll help lower the resistance of stuff. You can go through tons of areas, murder all sorts of things. And I mean, look how easy this character is to farm with. Look at how strong she is. And we didn't even spend an entire S worth of value. And we overpaid a little bit as well. Like, this is maybe like a Mal's worth of value in total for this character. And uh, I don't have cows right now, but let me tell you, you should see her in the cow level. Emroy, if you can get a cow level up in hell in a game, and I would 100% go and show that piece off. Um, perfect, thank you. All right, we'll be in cows in a second. I'm just gonna keep running around River here because, I mean, once again, River of Flame is also a great spot for farming. And you can see it's just just absolute slaughter. Absolute slaughter. And I have a Holy Freeze Mercenary right now. You can swap that around. You can do a different Mercenary if you would like, of course. Um, that's generally going to be the best one for this character because you don't really need a lot of the other stuff. But, you know, up to you. You can kind of do what you want. Might works well if you're going for more Leech. So if you have a lot of leech, might can be decent 
Um, especially if you've upgraded your Titans to be uh, Matriarch, then they can be really nice there as well because you get the extra physical damage. So your leech is a little bit better, right? But here, I mean, we've really hit a lot of the main points. And like I said, we haven't even done um, all of the stuff, right? We haven't even done all the things here with this character. Same result for Boazon. No, Boazon is not near as strong in budget forms. You can still have fun and she can still be okay. But how is she fair in a three-man game? Oh, just fine. Once again, the damage output is just... Just so high. Just so, so very high. Nice and easy. Upping the Titans was the biggest difference maker in mana. Yeah, it's a very big, uh, very, very big difference maker right there for sure. What about lightning immunes? So for some lightning immunes, you can lower resist them. And you can see that works on these ones. For some, you can't, and you just have to deal with it and just accept that you're not going to kill them. It's pretty much how it goes. So, you know, that's kind of, that's kind of it right there. Sometimes you can, you can do it, sometimes you can't. Until you can get infinity, then you'll be good. Yeah, you can use low res on Cow King. Will that break him? Maybe. Maybe it will. All right, let's see the, uh, you just jab lightning immunes with up titans and it's fine. That's the other thing. You actually have a lot of physical damage still. Like, that's definitely one of the big things to see. Uh, it doesn't, you try it, okay. Maybe you need both, infinity and that or something. Um, so, you know, all right, let's go... Right here. And we can go kill some Moo Moo's real fast. Up that Titans! I mean, we have the currency left over where we could if we wanted to. But here, you can see, this is kind of the bread and butter spot for this character. Because you get giant masses. Now, your mercenary will probably die in here, just as a heads up. Um, unless you bug him, which I have a video on how to bug your mercenary. So, you know, that's a thing. But, I don't really care about it right now. And yeah, you just, you just go and throw. And I mean, this is players three right now. And this is easy. And if you want to find, how do I level up a little bit more? How do I get all these nice runes and increase my budget and all this stuff? This is one of my favorite characters to start the game with. Because you can build this budget gear for so little. It just doesn't cost a lot at all. You can find nice bases. You can find nice runes. You can find good things to trade. All sorts of stuff. Just running around here. And uh, you just kind of kill. You just kind of kill and have a good time. And it's super fast, super easy. And just a great way to get kind of quick profit for very little. Right? Now, you can also, if you're just doing cows, run Silk Weaves, and then you really get your mana per kill up, which is really going to help. Because you can see I have run into a little bit of mana issues right there. Um, you know, so it does happen. But just a nice, nice way to get some additional stuff. And of course, when your jabs run low, you just go repair them, right? Yes, they do auto repair, but it can take a little bit of time for them to, to fully auto repair. So you just go and repair them and you're you're good on all that stuff. Um, you know, it's very, very cheap overall and stuff. Not bad. So that is my budget uh, Javazon right there. I hope that this is helpful. I hope this gives you some ideas. I hope that you have some fun. There's obviously some swaps. We talked about a lot of different things. Nat's boots, treachery, Shaco instead, High Lord's works there, 220s on the gloves. I mean, there's a lot of different things you can do with all this stuff, but this should give you a general idea 
of, uh, you know, all the good things that you can really want right there. So, I hope this is helpful. I hope you guys learned a little bit, and maybe this improves your characters. If you figure out, hey, I can be a super budget character who doesn't have a burr rune and still make something that can murder a lot of stuff. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Ring that bell. Thanks for watching, everybody. Mwah! Peace. Have a good one, YouTube.